Hey everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got a topic that's crucial for all our Canadian crypto enthusiasts out there. We are diving deep into the world of crypto taxes, especially in Canada. So grab your notepad because we are breaking down the difference between business income and capital gains. Let's get started. Distinguishing business income from capital gains. When it comes to taxing profits from crypto assets, it's crucial to differentiate between business income and capital gains. Business income is subject to full taxation at your marginal tax rate, whereas capital gains income is only half taxable. For instance, let's consider debt. A Canadian resident who earned $80,000 in profit from Bitcoin sales. Dent's high annual salary puts him in a 15% marginal tax bracket. If his profit is considered business income, the full $80,000 is added to his income, resulting in a $40,000 personal income tax. However, if treated as capital gains income, only $40,000 of the profit is included, leading to a $20,000 tax payment. Clearly, Den prefers the capital gains treatment due to the tax savings. Now let's look at the factors influencing business income versus capital gains. Determining whether the profit from crypto asset sales is business income or capital gains involves various factors identified by the Canada Revenue Agency, CR. First factor is transaction frequency. Higher trading frequency suggests business income over capital gains. The second factor is ownership period. Shorter holding periods lean towards business income. The third factor that defines business income or capital gain is securities knowledge. Involvement or expertise in finance increases the likelihood of business income taxation. The fourth one is time allocation. Spending significant time on market analysis indicates business income. And the last one is financing. Dependence on debt for asset purchases implies business income. Now let's try and understand what a sale event is. A sale event must occur for profit to be taxable. Such events include converting crypto assets into fiat or other currencies, trading one type of crypto asset for another, using crypto assets for purchases, gifting or donating crypto assets. Let's look into crypto to crypto trade in detail. Examining a crypto to crypto trade, let's consider Tony, who bought a Bitcoin for $20,000, now valued at $50,000. Tony, a full-time day trader, falls in the highest tax bracket, faces a 50% marginal tax rate. Trading his Bitcoin for 20 units of Ethereum, each worth $2,500, results in $30,000 of business income and $15,000 in personal income tax. Cryptocurrency transfers to exchanges. Now let's be very cautious when transferring owned cryptocurrency to exchanges as it may trigger a taxable sale event. For example, Jane transfers her Bitcoin to a top crypto trading platform, effectively relinquishing ownership and control leading to a tax liability. So the conclusion is that understanding whether income from crypto asset sales constitutes business income or capital gains and recognizing sale events is essential. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.